and we are on air. Hi guys, my name's Brianna, and today I'm going to be reacting to a subscriber's music recommendations. So let's get right into the video. So for those of you who don't know, I have a series on my channel where I react to people's recommendations for songs. I've done a few different friends, my boyfriend, previous boyfriends, and sometimes I end up really liking the songs, sometimes there's some I don't like so much, and it's just a fun video just to see what other people like and if I like what they like. And also to discover new music and all of that, and on on my most recent reacting to music recommendations video, I had a little conversation with one of my subscribers in the comments down below. Her name is Carrie, and we were just chatting about different artists that she was recommending me, and I said, hey, instead of recommending me a full artist, why don't you recommend me some specific songs, and you can have your own video of me reacting to your recommendations. So this is the first time I'm ever reacting to a subscriber's recommendations, but I thought it would be really fun. I have seven songs from her that I'm gonna react to, and if you guys have your own song recommendations, you can comment them down below. And if there's not an overwhelming amount of comments and I'm able to get to all of them, maybe I can do a video like this in the future. So let's just get into it. All right, so the first song is called Overwhelmed by Royal and the Serpent. I saw a few different versions of this song, so I hope I got the correct one. This one says it also has Christian Gates. So let's check it out. Ooh, I really like this already. Oh, I know this song. This song is like a really famous song. I never knew who it was by. I'm gonna listen to the whole thing because I don't think I've ever heard the full song, but interesting that there's already a song I've heard before in this list. And also it's not the type of music or the vibe of music that I was expecting. So now I'm really curious what the rest of the songs are gonna be. It's a pretty good song. Like I said, I know like the vibe, the energy of it, and parts of the lyrics because I have heard it before. It's a really popular song. This part of the song kind of reminds me of Black Bear. I also I like that they're switching up who's singing. It's not all the same person singing throughout the song. I think that's good and fun. I'm just vibing, just chilling. So yeah, I don't really have much to say on this song because I do already know it, but I am pleasantly surprised by the genre we're jumping into and I'm really excited to see if we're staying in this genre, if we're gonna get a vast variety. The next song is by the same band though, Royal and the Serpent, so I'm thinking it's going to be similar, but it's called Happier in Hell. It feels like same genre, but sad. Yeah, I like it a lot so far, but this is like heartbreaking lyrics, I think. This is a really good song and I like it the way it is, but I am curious what a more upbeat version of this song would sound like. Like a more pop, upbeat type of music to fit with these sadder, darker lyrics. I think that would be interesting, but I do really like it how it is. I just think it's a interesting music match with it because it's not exactly sad or anything, the music, but it's not exactly like punchy and upbeat either. So. It's not pulling me in either direction and the lyrics are steering the show. I feel like with songs like this, you either need the music to match it or you need it to go in the opposite direction. So again, I do really like this song. I'm just a little thrown off because that's not usually the style of music I hear when it comes to sad songs. I like that. See, this is like pretty upbeat and that's what I'm saying, like what if they had gone with something like this throughout the whole song? It is a really good song though. It's just, I don't know where I would place it. Cause all my music playlists are either, these are my songs for when I'm like feeling emotional and I want to be in my feels and I want to feel sad and cry and let it all out. Or these are my music for when I'm partying or I need to hype me up or whatever. And this doesn't really, I don't know where I would put it. But definitely a really good song, I'm definitely adding that to to my music. Just not sure what playlist is gonna fit in yet. I'll have to figure that out. And next we have a Beatles medley from Ember Trio. I believe this is an instrumental. I'm sure this is gonna be fantastic. I'm more keeping my ear open for any maybe more interesting songs they're choosing that aren't as popular for this, but so far we're going with the classics. Oh. <laughs> They threw me for a loop there. This is really good. I like that kind of big emphasis on the change of style there. I'm only halfway through and I already want to say this is an incredible recommendation. It's one of the best Beatles medleys I've heard and I've heard instrumentals and singing ones and I really love the style of this. They're changing up the like genre every little bit of time that passes but putting them together so seamlessly. This is really good. 
Wow. I'm definitely gonna have to check out these guys' other work because I'm really impressed. It's really hard to take someone else's art and elevate it or make it in a different way that has such value. And I'm really impressed, especially with such a classic like the Beatles. It's really hard to make work that works off of that work and make it its whole own separate entity. You know, it's hard to find something that people would want to listen to over the Beatles and I think this is really good. I'm very impressed. So we're doing pretty good so far. I am very pleasantly surprised. We got four more songs to go, so let's just keep it moving. All right, the next song is Breathe by Unions. Slow start, but it sounds like it's leading into a heavier beat, but we'll see. Hmm. Maybe not, but I do like this. I like the voice a lot. Interesting. I really like that because the beat was leading you into expecting a heavier, more upbeat beat coming in, but instead the music faltered for a second and we were hit with the strong voice and then the music changed slightly with that after following. Unexpected, they kind of took what we sensed coming and flipped it on its head and I think it's really good. I really like their use of repetition here and the way they're singing the word breathe in such a breathy, soft voice and it feels airy and nice and then we're getting more lyrics in segments and I like how the music is changing throughout but subtly with the voice changes and the lyrics changes. I really like the music over here. And see again, it drops out with the voice. Fantastic. I know in the last time I did a reacting video like this, I talked about how I didn't like the way that particular song used repetition. In here, this is a style I feel more comfortable with for my own music taste and I think is executed well. I also think in a lot of songs, the focus is the music versus the focus is the lyrics. Whereas I think this song has a really good combination of both and they meld well together and help carry each other and carry the song. Super happy with that. I am really surprised by how well this is going. These are some really good songs, but we're more than halfway through now, so let's just keep going and hope this good energy and these good songs keep coming. Now we have Fool by the Sweeplings. Building in the beginning, I like that. Ooh. But building to a very chill beat. Complimenting the voice, but letting the voice have the star, the show. And we're switching up to a more country energy. Compared to the other songs, I wasn't expecting a country song, but I'm liking it. Ooh, I liked that. Ooh, I like the way that built up like that. The control in this person's voice is really good. I'm gonna have to be checking out this artist. There's another person singing too. It's a little tricky to pick up on it, but there's a more masculine voice in the back, but the more feminine voice is getting the main show. I think the voices are complementing each other really well and bringing out the best parts of this girl's voice. Ooh, I like what they're doing with the music. Ooh. I love the music, how it's complimenting it so well. Ooh, I like the cadence of this verse. It's a little bit different than the rest of the song. Ooh, yes. Ooh, mm, I love it. I know. Ooh, that's so good. Yes, I knew it was coming. I knew it was building back up. Ah. Ah. I think that maybe of most of the recommendations I've gotten, this is my favorite. I don't want to let Concrete say that because I've been doing this for a long time and it's hard to remember every single one, but this is so good and I immediately am drawn to want to listen to more from this artist. Ugh. It's so good. I'm not gonna react to more from that artist for this video, cause then it's just gonna be too many songs in one, but I'm definitely gonna be checking out this artist later on, and wow. Really powerful voice, great lyrics, the music complimented it so well. Just all around, that was a great song. But we still have two more, so who knows? Maybe another song will beat it out? That would be crazy, cause that was a really good song, but let's see. Next we have To Whom It Makes Concern by the Civil Wars. Okay, sounds like it's gonna be a much softer, sweeter song rather than the energies we've gotten so far. So not the voice I was expecting, but it's not bad. 
Ooh, I like the girl's voice much better than the guy's, so sorry about that to him. Their voices blend well together. I'm only a little confused because this reads like a love song, but it's a duet between a guy and a girl aching for someone else. And like the lyric, I missed you, but I haven't met you. Like it sounds like they're singing to a future partner. And to sing that as a duet is a little interesting. I feel like I'm missing something in the story that would add a little bit more depth to it. And it's, I like it, I like it. I just, I like to dig deeper and I'm just trying to find that missing piece that's helping me connect it. Like I'm wondering, is this just a duet because they wrote it together and they want it to be a duet and it sounds nice as a duet? Or is there something to the story of why it's a duet. Because for the story, it's not making sense to me that two people are singing it. But it is a really sweet, soft, beautiful song. I love that drawn out ending of the voice there. And I think it was a good choice to end with the girl's voice, which contrasts the starting with the male's voice. It sounds really good. Another great song, again, just a little bit curious if there's more to the story of that song there. And then we got one last song here, Live Forever by Oasis. Ooh, I like this. It makes me wanna dance. Okay, this is the kind of voice that is like a classic sounding voice, but the first time you ever hear it, it's a little abrupt. But as soon as you get used to it, it sounds really good and like, I don't know if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. This song sounds really familiar and it did come out in the 90s, so there is a high chance I've heard it at some point, but like I haven't heard it enough times that I know the words or anything, but it just sounds a little familiar. I do really like it though, but unfortunately, it does not beat out that other song. So I really like the music of this song. I think that that's the star of the show and the voice and the lyrics are there to complement the music. That's my opinion, but I really love that guitar. It's just making me want to like dance and vibe and chill out. Like it's the kind of upbeat music that doesn't make me want to like party. It wants me to like chill and vibe and just like bump bump along, you know? For sure, another really good song. There was not a single miss in any of these songs. I liked all of them. Carrie, thank you so much. You have amazing music taste. I have been very pleasantly surprised by this. I don't know what I was expecting, but all different genres in here, and yet somehow every song was still really good, and ugh, but Fool by the Sweeplings, that one is my favorite for for sure of these songs and I can't wait to check out some of these artists a little bit more but uh, thank you so much for recommending these songs and yeah that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed happy vetting and I'll see you guys tomorrow Mwah.